Hi and welcome to the CW 22 game of the week. Daniel Finn is back in Southeast Raleigh and so are his team's winning ways. They'll face Millbrook in the cap seven conference opener. I mean, I have to give all the credit to the kids. You know, they have a choice whether they want to buy in, you know, to your program. Glad to be here and, you know, the kids are excited and, you know, hopefully we can continue to do some good things. Finn brings a lot of energy, a lot of uh, intelligence to our team, to our scheme while we play. He makes us just want to win. He brings that winning mentality, so. We love it. Clarence in score knows a thing or two about winning. He's in his 17th season at Millbrook. Well, I mean, obviously Coach Finn was there for a long time, so uh, he did a great job building that program up. You know, he brings a uh, winning mentality with him, so uh, we know we've got our work cut out for us this week. I'm just want to take it game by game. Hand on bins on Friday. Everybody's going to do their job. But I know that they're foaming at the mouth to get after this new conference title. Ooh, we need to be yeah. ready to stop them. They seem like a really solid team. They got a good defensive front, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great game. And now it's time for the Bojangles trivia timeout. The offense must have seven or more players on the line at the snap. But uh, how many defensive players are required to be on the line? Seven? I think it's five. Uh, I think about three. Three people on the line. You know what I'm saying? Seven? You don't need any certain amount by rule, but we only need three to stop anybody. And there you go. The answer is none. Visit RaleighCW.com for extended interviews with players and coaches. We'll see you next Thursday for the CW22 Game of the Week, brought to you by Bojangles.